we're going to get started on this course by building GNS3 Lab to practice our monitoring course. And then we'll install SolarWinds Network Performance Monitor or NPM and we'll start adding devices by SNMP and WMI protocol. And then we'll start monitoring Cisco and Windows servers. And lastly, I'm going to install and configure NCM and NTA module. In this course, I assume that you already install a VMware workstation or virtual box, and you should know the basics of Windows Server 2016 or 2019. And a little knowledge of Cisco commands is recommended because you should know how to configure Cisco routers like adding IP addresses and enable SNMP protocol, which I'm going to show you how you can do it in this course. You may be wondering who's the intended audience for this course. Well, I like to say anyone. Anyone who wants to learn new monitoring with SolarWinds or other software like PRTG or App Manager or whatever software that you like, this course is for you. If we dig down a little bit deeper, specifically who should watch this course, well, first off, I would recommend it to anyone who has an interest in network monitoring. I'm going to start the course from the scratch to show you how you can start monitor your network, whether you are a network engineer, Cisco admin, data center admin, NAC operator or engineer, or anyone new to IT technology like a university student. So now is the time to start the course to install GNS3 as a virtual machine in VMware workstation or virtual box. So here we are on gns3.com, we'll click on free download to download the software. Now the version for Windows is 2 to 18. This is the latest version that we have. We'll click on download here and you should log in. So I'm typing my email address and if you don't have a user in a GNS3 website you should create an account and simply log into it and you can actually download the application simply by choosing download and here as you can see I'm start downloading this file which I already downloaded before and then down here you should download the GNS3 VM this VM actually helps you to integrate your Cisco IOSV or switches or whatever appliance that you need. So obviously we're going to download the VMware Workstation and Fusion version here because we want to run it on VMware Workstation. And again, we'll click on download to start downloading this file. As I said before, I already download them here First off, we should install GNS3 and then we should actually upload this virtual machine to the VMware workstation. So let's minimize this. This is all you need to do. Go to GNS3 and download these two files. So here simply, first off, we need to install GNS3, the latest version here. And now is the time to install GNS3 software. So we'll click on next and we'll accept the license agreement. And here on tools, actually, I'm going to deselect uh, Wireshark because I already installed it. And we don't need Wireshark because it takes time actually to download it from the internet. And uh, I want to make this installation very fast, actually. And we'll click on next again and we'll wait for the installation. And now, as you can see, we successfully installed our GNS3 appliance software here, and we'll click on Next. And here you should select the option. I'm going to select No, and we'll start GNS3 software. Now, as you can see, this is the first time we install our GNS3. Let's say don't show this again. And we'll close this wizard. Actually, this wizard wants to 
to run the appliance as a virtual machine to connect this GNS3 with the appliance here in my VMware workstation. And later on, I'm going to show you how you can do it. So this is the GNS3, as you can see, this is the simple installation. As you can see, we don't have a router. These are just some uh, basics switch and routers. Uh, let's make the, let's say sample, the new project here. And I'm going to bring ATM switch or for example, this ethernet hub or things like that. But these are actually is not help us for practice this course because we want a real device, something like Cisco IOS V or other uh, devices, something like Windows 7 or ESXi or MicroTik router or things like that. So to do that, we need actually to connect this GNS3 here from uh, preferences to the GNS3 VM, which by default is not enabled. So first off, before we go ahead and select the option here, and of course the virtual machine that we have in our workstation, we should go back here to the folder that we download the files and we want to actually extract this GNS3 VM, which is going to give us the GNS3 OVA that you can easily upload it to the VMware workstation. So here, as you can see, I'm already having a VMware workstation. The installation is very simple and the version is 16. Again, I should say very, very simple to install VMware workstation to virtualize your operating system or appliance or something like here. I'm having my Active Directory, with the, which is for my Active Directory course and vSphere and vSAM and things like that. So simply here, I'm going to right click and say new folder, uh, let's say GNS3, or even you can escape this and actually add the GNS3 without adding it to the folder. Because as you can see here, I am having several virtual machine here for my vSAN course. Because of that, I created the folder. But as we only need one virtual machine, let's go back here and double click to the uh, OVA. And here we should actually import it as a virtual machine to the VMware workstation. As you can see, this wizard is the workstation wizard and it detects our OVA file. So let's say browse and here I'm going to select my partition D, which is SSD. I highly recommend you that you practice your lab environment, no matter for your uh, Cisco or for your virtualization or whatever, you should have SSD drive. Otherwise, you will see the lab is very slow and you will face the problem. So here we'll say GNS3 or whatever you like. And now, as you can see, we're gonna import this OVA file to this path, which is going to be my SSD disk. And we'll say import. So that's great here, as you can see, it's only have two gigabyte of RAM and one processor. Let's say upgrade this virtual machine and next, and here we'll say the latest virtual machine hardware compatibility list is going to be version 16. It's better actually to choose uh, the latest version. And here we should use alter this virtual machine and finish and close. And as you can see, the memory here is two gigabyte and the processor is one. So we'll go back to the GNS3, sorry, GNS3 software. And I'm going to enable uh, this checkbox to enable the GNS3 VM. So because we want to import or we want to add real Cisco devices later on, something like Cisco IOS V. Of course, they're not real, but they can handle 99% of the commands in the Cisco devices. And here I'm going to select, so let's say cancel because we wanna do a refresh. Again, we'll go to preferences and 
DNS3 and OK. And here, as you can see, it automatically start the virtual machine with one CPU and two gigabyte of RAM. So as long as you select DNS3 and, and you choose apply, you will see that the wizard is going to run the virtual machine, which is going to be GNS3. So now, as you can see, we already installed GNS3 VM and we already again install the software. So this is how you can do it, which is very easy and very simple. So this is how we can download, install GNS3 software and integrate GNS3 software with the GNS3 VM in the lab environment. So again, this is the full course and free course for you on YouTube. You can practice adding devices to the GNS3, which later on I'm going to show you how you can do it. And then we're going to install NPM and configure the devices and we'll go to configure reports or NCM or NPM module so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on notification like the video to get every new update almost every day